Good day YouTubers, welcome back to my channel, Time for a Spot of Royalty. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination Fortune Telling, the Magi Method. You can see we have a picture today, a printed picture, and it came out pretty good. Uh, find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who buy me a cup of tea. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. So, uh, there is some discussion that Meghan and Harry paid 1.5 million dollars to be placed on the Time magazine cover. The other thing that is very contra controversial is this pinky ring. Uh, and this pinky ring is allegedly, I think it is, it is a gift from uh, Muhammad bin Salman uh, the Saudi prince, uh, who is quite, for various things, he's very wealthy, one of the wealthiest people in the world. And he is also famous for the murder, the kidnapping, murder, dismemberment of journalist Jamal Khashoggi uh, from the Saudi embassy. Uh, so that's, I think that's only like a year ago. He's also uh, dated some very famous uh Female celebrities, United States and UK uh, female celebrities. Megan is also wearing the $23,000 Princess Diana Cartier tank watch. She's wearing a Jennifer Meyer gold tennis bracelet. Jennifer Meyer is Tobey Maguire's ex-wife. She's also wearing a Cartier love bracelet. Uh, I think this may also have been given by uh, Prince... Uh, Mohammed bin Salman. Uh, she's wearing her trilogy engagement ring. Remember, she changed the band to make it like uh, the band from her previous husband. She put diamonds in it. You know, and Harry created that band. And then chiffon diamond pinky rings. Okay. Just matching on the other side. That's a lot of bling. Uh, you can see how many rings I wear. I don't like... It's just not something I do. I don't wear rings and such. All right. So, did Harry and Meghan, the Harkles, did they pay? Did they pay to get that cover? Like, here's, um, you know, here's um, a million and a half bucks. And, you know, it's just, just because. No particular reason. But we're just going to slide this suitcase full of money uh, over in your direction. And wink, wink, it would be great if we got the Time Magazine cover. So did they pay for that Time Magazine cover? Did they bribe someone for that Time Magazine cover? Look how much space this picture takes. All right. Secrets, secrets in the middle. Hmm. You know, lies and cleverness. Innocent. So, did they pay uh, for this Time magazine cover? Let's see. Veil, home, and city. Secrets among closely related people in the world. 12 and 7, 19, 5 clubs. Uh, 5 clubs in a relationship reading is, is speaking with a forked tongue and or lying or 2 or more options, 2 or more paths or options. So they know some people. They worked, they worked these people in the world. They, they had an inside track. And there's something funny about it. Incubus Succubus, definitely something funny about it. Incubus Succubus is a lying card. This is either just sex or a great lying card. Okay, so secrets and lies and five clubs may be speaking with a forked tongue. And Fox, clever business dealings. The Fox is very clever. I would say she is the most clever card in the deck. 
What do we have over here? We have the player. Player and Fox are brother and sister. Jack of Diamonds and Queen of Diamonds are brother and sister. The player uh, is more direct and the Fox is more indirect and moves the pieces around. No and player. No and player and angel. They want to appear that their hands are clean and they got this all on the up and up. And so they want to hide any dirty dealing. So, yeah. Yeah. So, oh, it's totally legit. I know a guy who won a Grammy. Uh, and I, he, I know he got it in backroom dealings. I know he got it uh, through backroom dealings. And, you know, but for his, the rest of his life, he gets to say, yeah, but I won a Grammy. And that's a big deal. It's a big deal winning a Grammy. So I know this happens. I know it from personal experience. So some definitely backdoor dealings. They know somebody. They know somebody over there in the Time 100. Lying, clever business dealings. They don't want any of this to get out. So it's all very hush-hush. So did they pay money? Let's... Yeah, we didn't pull out the sticks last time. We should have pulled out the sticks last time. So let's just do, let's get the sticks out. Yes, no, yes, no. Did they literally pay uh, 1.5 million? Did the Harkles pay 1.5 million to get that Time Magazine cover? Yes or no? Did they pay for that Time Magazine cover? We got a very clear yes here. Yes, they paid. They paid. They bribed somebody. So that's a yes. All right. So we do have a yes. They had an inside track. Uh, some kind of dirty business dealings. Is this pinky ring gifted by the Saudi prince, Mohammed bin Salman? Let's just see what the cards say, because it is. Uh, and the story that they're putting out, one, this is a women's empowerment ring. It represents women's empowerment. Two, the ring was given to Harry. Okay, always blame Harry. Okay, my, I'm having a rash. It's Harry's fault. Uh, and... So the, the ring was, this ring was gifted to Harry, then Harry gifted it to Meghan and had it resized for her finger before uh, it was gifted to her. Mm, yeah. Okay, so is this pinky ring gifted by the Saudi prince to Meghan? You know, because he's famous for giving lavish gifts to his girlfriends. Gift, three hearts is a gift. Is this ring gifted by the Saudi prince? Again, very expensive item and a gift. Very expensive gift. Bling, bling, bling. 11 and 5, 16, 4 spades. And it's a secret. Yeah, they, it, it was. They're lying about who gifted. They're lying. Five clubs, fork tongue. Lying about who gave this expensive gift expensive gift and it's a secret for spades queen of spades hmm this is the other woman card let's see Ex execution cutting off the connection between these two figures well there's two kings and a queen here yeah so the story is given to harry but it was really given to megan and they're they're fibbing about it uh, and now it's a family heirloom. It's an expensive family heirloom. Uh, 26, 36, 38, 48, 53. Butterfly. Uh, yeah, could be four sex. Okay, so, yeah. Queen of Spades and Butterfly is, this is a sexy woman and sex, flirtation and sex, in exchange for uh, 
physical intimacy. Yeah, that's literally what that can say. Hmm. Let's do, that's my next question. Okay. Megan and Mohammed bin Solomon. Now, Megan was almost certainly a yacht girl. Okay. She met very powerful, very wealthy men uh, as a yacht girl. She's young. She's pretty. Uh, she's DTF. She's willing to do whatever uh, and, you know, give her this role promote her in the world. Uh, so did Megan and Bin Solomon, were they physically intimate? Okay, did they date? Okay, because Bin Solomon gives lavish gifts to his girlfriends. Okay, uh, they're girlfriends because they're dating and they're physically intimate. So was Megan, were Megan and Bin Solomon physically intimate? Okay, Harry, Harry, I hope you're listening, Harry. Uh, let's find out. Megan and Ben Solomon, were they physically intimate? We have a two. And that's a business card. There's no feeling there. Ben Solomon. Were they physically intimate? Okay, woman connected to him and activity, because of activity. 12 and 6, 18, 5 diamonds. Yes. Uh, this is a contract card. Okay, and this is in a, in, a, in a relationship sex reading. This is getting busy. This is doing the deed. Okay, uh, four leaf clothes. It's very active. It's very opportunistic. You know, it has to happen now. Uh, in the heat of passion kind of thing. So on an ongoing basis, yes, she had this, an intimate relationship with him on an ongoing basis, and she had no feelings for him. He, on the other hand, had a wife, of course, uh, and he enjoyed uh, engaging in this activity secretly, 10, 22, with many women. She is part of his harem. Okay, she knew she was a harem girl. She knew that he... Uh, had other women, and it was just a business arrangement. So, yeah, it shows on both sides that, that they uh, exchanged sex for value, which in other, you know, might be called prostitution. Um, cup overflowing, they, they know each other, and it's uh, an emotionally based relationship. Fourteen, four diamonds, and money. Yeah, so she... You know, she satisfies him emotionally, and this is, yeah. So they're 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 friends, okay. But it was just business for her, and for him, he's married and he has to keep it a secret. And there's lots of other girls he's doing this with. So she's like, you know, let's be, you know, wear a glove, be safe. Butterfly, no, and fox. So, uh, clever woman flirting. And just doesn't feel anything. 21. Yeah. Uh, it's just money. It's, it's flirtation. It's, it's, it's faux emotions. It's a very emotional thing. But she doesn't feel anything. There's no feelings at all. He's seeing other women. So definitely. Yeah. They were physically intimate. Uh, and, and that's actually... I left this out because that's actually what this is showing. Uh, the question I asked there... Uh, was this gifted? Yeah, they, they're cutting this connection. And it reveals uh, that she was working, she was, do, she, was, she was with him for money. And they're cutting that connection. That's what it's saying. They're cutting that connection. Maybe I'll leave that out. Okay. So, let's back up a little. Now... In terms of body language, in terms of what are we seeing here, okay, Megan is wearing that because she is saying, you know, I still have feelings for you. We're connected. You know, I'm a supporter of you. That's what she's saying uh, by wearing that pinky ring. She is supporting him. 
openly, very publicly, as publicly as possible. That's what she's doing. So, and she wants something. This is not actually a mo an emotional relationship. It was a very intimate relationship, which seemed to have a lot of emotion, but there was no emotion. None. So, is she looking, is Megan looking for support with a political run? Because that's what it looks like to me. You know, Megan's going to need money. You know, send me some money. Where's the, show me the money, Tom Cruise says to Cuba Gooding Jr. Show Cuba, you know, Cuba is the one saying, show me the money. So is she looking for support, financial support for her political run? Is that why she's doing it? Purely selfish, big change. Oh, my goodness. Is she looking for support for her political run on an ongoing basis? Completely selfish. Eleven, three clubs. Big change. Big change in her future. Uh, and yeah, incubus succubus. She is selfish. She's, she wants something. She wants something to help her with her future. She's trying to change her future. Okay, she's transforming herself again. Transforming herself. Water into wine. Uh, her close relationships in Hollywood are a disaster. And she's making new relationships in the world. She's transforming herself. So, yes, this screams political run. Okay, she's taking actions. Yeah, so it's purely selfish. She wants to reconnect with the Saudi prince because he's very wealthy. That's very handy. 28, 34, 32 is eight spades, nine diamonds, communicating. She is bringing him into her transformation. So, yeah, this is about her political run. She's, she's trying to get him as a backer, whatever she wants to do. And what does she want to do? She wants to make a political run. She's moving to New York. She's ditching Hollywood. And, you know, he's a, he's a good person to have on her team, for sure. Uh, very powerful, very wealthy money opens a lot of doors. I want to ask one more question. Well, let's do it as a Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan. How does Harry feel? feel? I want to know how does he feel about Meghan wearing this ring? Okay, because, like... Minarch, we, I w she wouldn't interact with me unless she was ab abusing me. Literally everything she said and did was abusive. Okay, so in this instance, Megan is wearing this pinky ring. And any normal person would be like, ah, oh. you know, that's like a stab in the heart for Harry. But if, if she's put him earlier in the day... Uh, and all week, she's put him through a meat grinder. She's she's gaslighting him and lying to him about all kinds of different things and just destroying his life with every breath she takes. Uh, you know, this is just another thing. And you can get so beaten down that you're just, you just don't, because he knows if he says anything, what's, it's, what's going to happen then? It's even going to be worse. Okay, so I want to look at Harry and Meghan. Uh, how does he feel about this? Her wearing this ring so openly on his birthday, by the way, that happened on his birthday. Harry. Oh, my goodness. What are we looking at, Megan? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I think the cards like to challenge me. Over here with Megan, we have at least the roadblock. Okay, she, in the future, is a, a blocker. 16, four spades, secrets. She's very emotional about this ring, and it's because of her feelings. Okay, and she's creating a, a blockage for him, and, it, and what she's really doing is a secret. Okay, uh, connected secretly. Six, two diamonds. Connected to... The Saudi prince secretly. She's very emotional about it, and that's how she's tell. That's what she's telling Harry. Harry's like, 
cornerstone, solid. Uh, maybe he is just drinking a lot. And inheritance. Inheritance and cornerstone are very solid money card. Bling, 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 bling. 12 and uh, 10, 22, 6 diamonds. Uh, this eight hearts, either things are changing in their relationship and he's thinking to himself, things are changing and he's, he's with the program or he was drinking, uh, and he's just not even thinking about it, but he must be hearing the news. So is it thinking or drinking? Okay. Is Harry thinking or drinking? What is that eight hearts? Is he thinking or drinking? I, I want to know. We're just going to try to throw one card. Don't want to throw a whole mess of cards on this. Thinking or drinking? Harry, thinking or drinking? Actively no. flirting outside the relationship. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. So this eight hearts flirtation she's taking this opportunity to flirt outside the relationship uh so 11 15 four clubs she's she's making opportunities uh so this looks very positive he recognizes that she is maintaining a relationship with this man and it's outside the relationship uh which is like I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a form of infidelity. It's, you know, there's many forms and there's many steps, you know, in posting, posting your butt on social media. That's a form of infidelity. And that, I think that happens all the time today. That's the weird world we live in uh, currently. And that would have been very, absolutely unacceptable just 20 years ago. And here she's doing something unacceptable. So he does realize that she is uh, keeping this connection, this connection with another man. And I don't know if he knows that she had sex with him, okay, many times as part of his harem. So he knows, he understands what's going on. So in summary, okay, one, they did pay for this Time Magazine cover. Two, uh... Megan had an intimate sexual relationship with Bin Solomon, and it was like it was for money. It was for these lavish, expensive gifts, and she was part of a large harem. Uh, he, Harry is aware of it, and Megan is just looking to keep him. This is Megan's harem of powerful men who have lots of money, and she collects people uh, to help her along in life. She's a master. Uh, She's a master networker. And for her, this is networking. She uses what she's got. Whatever she's got, she's going to use it. And uh, she's getting older. So maybe that time is ending that she can continue playing those cards. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling the Magi Method. Don't forget to like, share, and